Hello and welcome to Bright Dots Preschool with Miss Melinda. Hi, it's so good to see all of my friends. I'm so excited that you're here today and we are going to talk about letter N. So if you have anything that you could be a nurse with, n -n nurse, like a doctor kit or anything that you could take temperature with or a, th a stethoscope that goes around your neck to hear the heartbeat, um, a stick to check your tonsils. If you guys wanna gather up any of those things and then we are going to talk about noise a little bit later. So maybe you have some stuffed animals that make a noise. Maybe you have a toy, <gasps> maybe a robot, maybe a princess. Maybe an army guy, or an action figure, a doll, a baby. Grab something that makes some noise. I'm gonna have you guys guess some animal sounds that make some noise. And then we're also gonna talk about noodles. Okay, so we have a lot of letter N things. So if you guys wanna gather anything up, we are going to sing a song while we wait for our friends. What should we sing today? What song do you guys want to sing? Should we sing If You're Happy and You Know It? Okay, let's go ahead and sing If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Good job. Did all of my friends make it back from finding some things to be a nurse today? And anything that makes noise. That's what we're going to talk about. Letter N. Okay, are you ready for your sign language? Letter N. Get your hands ready. Shake them out, shake them out. Get them ready. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers. <gasps> okay, here we go. N, you're gonna put all of your fingers down except two. Can you guys do that? I knew you could do that because you all have been two or maybe you're two right now. <gasps> you're two? You're almost two? Yes, good job. Okay, and then you're gonna tuck your thumb right there underneath. So it looks like bunny ears, and now you're gonna tuck the bunny ears over. Oh, look at, and that's like our two bumps. That makes letter N. N says N. N says N. Every letter makes a sound. N says N. Can you guys say that? N. N, n. See how my tongue goes up to the top of my mouth? N, n. It's like right behind my teeth and the tip of my tongue touches the top of my mouth. Can you guys make that sound? N, n. Nurse, nighttime. Okay, let's do it again. N says n. N says n. Every letter makes a sound. N says n. Good job! Okay, let's see what our letter N book has for us today. Letter N, this is a capital N, and this, my friends, is a, you're right, a lowercase N. We have a capital N and a lowercase N. Very good, and N says N, N, yes! Capital, lowercase, but they're both letter, let me hear it, N, yes, very good. Okay, let's see what we can learn about letter N. Can you guys see my picture down here? It's so silly. 
Nathaniel, oh, that must be Nathaniel. Nathaniel had a naughty little nanny goat. Oh, that must be a naughty goat who never ate a single oat, just nibbled on his overcoat. Do you guys know what nibbled mean? That means you just bite a little bit. Sometimes you put like a blanket or your shirt or something in your mouth. And when you eat just a little bit of food, you like nibble on the side of your bread. That's called nibble. Okay, let's see what else Nathaniel has to say. Nathaniel had a naughty little nanny goat. Her name was Nanabelle. What? Nathaniel and her goat, Nanny Bell. Nanny Bell. Can you guys say that? That's a silly name, huh? Nanny Bell. That's the goat's name. Okay, so our naughty little goat. That is a silly story about our goat. Okay, what else starts with N? Can you guys think of some other words that start with N? <gasps> Did anyone guess net? You did? Do you take your net outside sometimes and catch some things? What do you catch in your net? Some bugs? A butterfly? No way, that's awesome. Yeah, you could either gather up something in the water, or maybe some sand or some seashells. Yeah, you can catch some pretty cool things in a net. Very good, can you guys all say n n net Good job, N for net. Okay, so we're gonna add this. Let's see. Right there. And then our letter N on our, what's this called? Our chicka chicka boom boom tree. So here's our letter N. And we're just gonna put it right there. Look at all of those letters. We are getting so many letters on our Chicka Chicka Boom Boom tree. I'm so proud of you guys. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. You guys learned so many letters. Are you remembering all of the sounds and all of the sign language to all of the letters you're learning? Good job. You guys are so awesome. Okay, who is somebody that takes care of people. <gasps> Ooh, those are some good guesses. A mom does take care of people. <gasps> and a doctor, you're right. A doctor does take care of people. Who's somebody that helps the doctor? The nurse. Yes, you're right. The nurse is right by the doctor's side and they help the doctor get the tools that they need, get all ready for whatever is going on. So a long time ago, nurses used to wear these hats. So they knew that they were a nurse and that they would help people. Today we don't really wear, nurses don't really wear hats like this, but this signifies a nurse hat. So when you see a hat like this, you know it's a what? A nurse, you're right, good job. Okay. I brought my little baby today and we're gonna take care of her cause she's a little bit sick. Oh no, my baby's sick. What should we do if somebody is sick? Yeah, we have to go to the doctor's office or maybe even the hospital. Could it be a little bit scary sometimes? Yeah, it could be a little bit scary, but our mommies and our daddies are there to help us. So we aren't scared. And then when we get to the hospital or the doctor's office, they're there to help us too, to make us feel all better. So at the doctor's office, the first thing they usually do is make you stand on a scale. So they stand and they say, this is how much you weigh. And then they measure how tall you are and they say, this is how tall you are. And it doesn't need to be scary because guess what? It doesn't hurt at all. What? It doesn't hurt when you have to step on the scale or get weighed. Then the next thing they usually do is take your temperature. Sometimes they just put it across your forehead and sometimes they put it in your ear. Have you had your temperature taken? You have? 
Did it hurt? No. It's kind of scary when we don't know what's going to happen, huh? But then after it's all over, we're like, oh, yes, that wasn't that bad. It wasn't very scary, was it? No, you guys did awesome. Okay, so that's our thermometer. Can you guys say thermometer? Thermometer. Good job. That's kind of a big word, huh? Okay, and then the next thing they usually do is listen to, who knows what this does? <gasps> Listens to the heartbeat. You're right. So they put it right on the patient. <gasps> Can you guys hear the heartbeat? <gasps> Can you guys feel your heart right here? Can you feel it beating? You can? Did you know you have some other spots where you can fill your pulse? If you feel your wrist right here, take two fingers and put it on your wrist really lightly. Can you feel it kind of beats? Can you feel that? Also on your neck up here. Did you feel the beats? Good job. And then of course on your heart right here, you can feel it beating. Isn't that so cool? Okay, another thing that sometimes they do at the doctor's office is check your blood pressure. So sometimes this can be a little bit scary because it gives your arm a little squeeze. So it gets really, really tight, but then it goes loose again. So it comes off really fast and it goes right around your arm. So you put it around your arm and now they have machines that usually take your blood pressure. So the nurse doesn't stand here and do this usually, but before they would push a little ball like this and they'd have the stethoscopes in their ear and they would listen to how many beats and then they would tell you your blood pressure. Isn't that neat? And then another thing that a nurse could help check is your reflexes. Has anyone seen one of these? It's a knee knocker. <laughs> is that kind of a silly word? Okay, so you hit your knee and it goes boing. You hit your knee, boing. And that's checking your reflexes underneath your knees to make sure that your bones and all of your body is growing how it's supposed to. And sometimes you have to get a what at the doctor? The nurse will come in and give you a, who knows what this is, a shot. And this does hurt a little bit, huh? It feels kind of like a poke, but guess what? It's so fast that it's like one, two, three, <gasps> deep breath. And then they do it and it's over with. And maybe it stings for a couple seconds, but you could sing the ABCs really fast and sing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And then I bet it won't be hurting anymore. And then guess what's so cool? They put a Band-Aid on. They put a Band-Aid on and it makes it feel all better. So sometimes a shot does hurt, but only for a couple seconds. But the thermometer doesn't hurt and the knee knocker doesn't hurt, and the blood pressure cuff doesn't hurt. It might be a little bit tight, but it doesn't hurt. And the stethoscope doesn't hurt. So it's usually none of the things at the doctor's office hurt except for a shot. And that's usually only a second, but I bet you guys can be so brave when you have to go get a shot from the nurse. Do you guys think you could be so brave for me? Give me a thumbs up if you think you could be so brave next time you have to go see a nurse. <gasps> you can think about Miss Melinda and how she told you you would be so brave. I know you can do it. You could say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. <gasps> can you guys all try that? Did you say it? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. So sometimes we get scared when we don't know what we're gonna have to do next. But if you just say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, <gasps> maybe that might help you think in your head that you can do hard things. 
because Miss Melinda knows that you guys can do hard things and you guys are so brave. Did you know that you are so brave? Yes, you are so brave. Okay, another thing we're gonna talk about is who knows what these are. Birds, you're right, they are birds. I have lots of colors of birds. What, can you see all my birds? Okay, what do, what do birds live in? A what? A nest, n, n, nest. Does that start with the letter N? Yes, it does. Have any of you guys ever seen a nest outside in a tree? What do they build a nest with? How do the birds make a nest? <gasps> Miss Melinda had to cut off a few branches off of her tree that were getting too big and growing over my sidewalk. So I brought these in to show you how birds make a nest. They gather up twigs and then they stack them on top of each other like this. This is gonna be like our nest for our bird. They gather them all up and they stack them back and forth. And then they have a little bed or a little house. It's more like a house because this is what they live in. And then they hatch their eggs and their babies are born in their nest. Can you guys say nest? Nest, very good. What lives in a nest? Yes, birds. Birds live in a nest. Okay, we're gonna get my birds here. What color is this bird? Blue, did you say blue? You are right. Okay, we're gonna hang this bird right there in the nest. My next bird, what color? What color is my bird? Red, you're right. A red bird. Alrighty, what color do you think the next color is gonna be? Does anyone know? Yellow, yellow, let's put my yellow bird right there. Can you guys see my yellow bird still if I put it right there? Okay, yellow and what color is this bird? Purple, you're right. Let's put this purple bird over here. Purple. Do you think we can fit two more birds? What? Let's see if we can fit two more birds up here. What color is this bird? Orange, very good. We're gonna put orange clear up there. And then our last one is, what color? Green, yes, our green bird. Let's see if he can fit right there in our nest. What, that is a lot of birds in our nest. What does the bird say? I hear some tweet tweets, chirp, chirp. Yeah, birds can make different sounds. Caw, caw, yeah, birds can make different noises depending on what kind of bird they are, right? Yeah, tweet, 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 tweet. And what do birds eat? <gasps> Worms, you're right. They dive down from their nest and they have such good eyes. Can you guys point to your eyes? Where are your eyes? Point to your eyes, open them really big. Do you think if you looked out your window that you could see all the way to the dirt in the grass and see a worm? <gasps> I don't think I could. Miss Melinda's eyes aren't that good. But guess what? Bird's eyes are that good. They could see a worm from clear up on top of the roof of your house or a nest because they have good eyes 
and then they look and see where it is and they're so quiet. Shh. And then they fly down real fast and grab the worm and that's what they eat for breakfast. Who wants a worm for breakfast? Does anyone want to try a worm for breakfast? Ew, no, that would be so yucky. I don't want worms either for breakfast. Okay, did you guys know that I have all of my primary colors here and all of my secondary colors? <gasps> Do you guys know what that means? My primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. My primary colors are one, two, three. Red, yellow, and blue. So if we wanna get other colors, we have to have red, we have to have yellow, and we have to have blue. You guessed it, you're right. Great job, air high fives, air high fives. Yes, okay, can you guys help me? We are going to make purple. Who knows how to make purple? Flap your wings, flap your wings, flap your wings. Who knows? We need blue and what? Blue and red. Did you say blue and red? Okay, flap your wings, flap your wings. When you mix blue and red together, it makes purple. Yes, very good. Okay, now we're gonna do another one. How do we make green? What colors do we mix together to make green? Does anybody know? Okay, let's get my primary colors back up here because we always need red, yellow, and blue. Those are my primary colors, very good. Red, yellow, and blue are my primary colors. And to make green, I need yellow and blue. Is that what you said? You're right. Okay, flap your wings, flap your wings, flap your wings. You guys flap your arms, flap your wings. And blue and yellow turn into green. Very good. Okay, our last color that we need to make for our secondary color is orange. What color do you think we need to mix together to get orange? Does anyone know? <gasps> red. You're right. We need red and yellow. Yes. You got it. Okay, we need red and yellow. Can you guys flap your wings? Flap your wings, flap your wings. Fly, fly, fly. And we're gonna make orange. Very good. So red and yellow make orange. Good job. Okay, so we have purple green, and orange. Those are called secondary colors. Can you guys all say secondary? Secondary colors, very good. Okay, so what colors are secondary? Good job, purple, green, and orange. Okay, who remembers what the primary colors are? Yell them out. What are the primary colors? Red, yes, you're right, red. What else? Yellow and blue, very good. Red, yellow, blue. Those are our primary colors, very good. Okay, can you guys say bye birdies? Bye birdies. Thank you for helping my birds find their nest and making all of the colors. This is one of my favorite books. Have you guys heard this book before? It's called The Best Nest. N-n-nest. <gasps> what? 
We just talked about a nest. Did you know other things besides birds live in a nest? What's this? You're right, an owl. What does an owl say? Ooh, ooh. Good job. Okay, we're gonna see what the owl has to say. In a tiny nest at the top of a tall, tall tree lived little owl and all her brothers and sisters. There's not enough room, said little owl. So away he flew to find a new home. Did my color birds look a little bit squished? Yeah, but they can all squeeze together, but this birdie didn't think so. Crunch, scrunch, little owl saw hedgehog burrowing in a nest of leaves. Hedgehog? Your home looks warm, can I stay, said little owl. Please do, said hedgehog. So little owl snuggled up beside him, but ow! Hedgehog's spines were sharp. Sorry, too prickly for me. And little owl flew away. Can you guys fly your wings? Fly your wings. Swish, swish. Little owl found spider spinning her silvery web. <gasps> what a beautiful home. Spider, said little owl, may I stay here? Of course, said spider. Little owl stepped onto the web, but oh, wriggle, 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 wriggle. He found himself in a tangle. Too sticky for me, he sighed, and off he swooped. <gasps> Can you guys swoop away? Fly away. Scritch, scratch, little owl met mouse peeking out of a nest in the tree trunk. It's very cozy in here. Come and try, mouse squeaked. So little owl tried to squeeze through the hole, but bump, oh, he couldn't fit. Sorry, too small for me, he said, and away he fluttered to find a new home. <gasps> fly away, fly away. Where is he gonna try next? Shriek, squeak. Little owl found the bats hanging in their cave. This home is very peaceful. Please, may I stay? Asked little owl, trying to hang upside down, but thud, oh, ouch. Little owl crashed to the ground. Ouch, he said, rubbing his head. I'll have to find a new home. You guys all rub your head? Rub your head. Would that hurt if you crashed on the ground? Poor little owl. He was all alone in the cold night. N -n night Does that start with N2? With no home of his own, he missed his old nest and his brothers and sisters. Just then he heard, Hoo -hoo! <gasps> My brothers and sisters, cried little owl, and he soared off to join them. <gasps> what does an owl say? <gasps> Good job! In a tiny nest at the top of a tall, tall tree, little owl snuggled up with her brothers and her sisters. It was noisy, hot, and way too small, but it felt just right. This is the best nest, said little owl happily. Hoo -hoo. So always remember that your home is the best place to be. Even if you think somebody else will have a better, better home, your home is probably the very best. Okay, let's see. At night time, what do we do at night time? <gasps> do we go to sleep? Yeah, we get our blankets. Look at, got my blanket and we close our eyes and lay down. Can you guys all pretend you're sleeping? <sighs> Good job. At night time, we go to bed. Do your moms and dads sometimes tell you bedtime stories at night? Yeah, what's your favorite story? I'm so glad you have so many stories. That is so good that you read books at night. You should always read books before you go to bed. It's so good to read books. Okay. At nighttime, there are a lot of animals that come out to play. Some of them were in our bat, in our book. We have a bat. Can you guys fly like a bat? Fly like a bat. And what about something that has a bushy tail? What has a bushy tail? A fox. Yeah, can you guys pretend to wiggle your tail? Wiggle your tail, wiggle your tail. 
Good job. What's something else that comes out at night? They're black and white and they're stinky. A skunk. Very good. Can you guys all plug your nose? Say P-U. P-U. Yes, good job. So those are our nighttime animals. There's a lot more animals that come out at night. So when we sleep, those animals come out. They're called nocturnal. Nocturnal animals stay awake all night and then they sleep in the day. Did you know that? Isn't that so cool? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a couple sounds because I want you to guess what they are. So close your eyes and you're gonna hear my sounds. Oh, did you hear what it was? A cow, did you guess a cow? Isn't that cool? When we close our eyes and we don't know what it is, we can tell with our ears the sound that the noise, N -n noise that is letter n the noise that an animal makes we know what it is okay miss melinda's not going to show you this time close your eyes and see if you can hear did anyone guess what do you think it is did you say a rooster Good job, you're right. Okay, here's another one. Who knows what this animal is? They roll in the mud and they're usually pink. Did you say a pig? Good job. Okay, this is our last one. What is it? A sheep. Can you guys all say a sheep sound? Bah, bah. Good job. So when we listen, we can hear different noises. When you guys are outside, be really quiet and see if you can hear an airplane, see if you can hear a car, see if you can hear sirens. Maybe you can hear the leaves. Oh, what about birds chirping? Do you sometimes hear birds chirping outside? Yes, that is so perfect. Okay, one last thing I wanted to show you with noodles. Who likes noodles? Does anybody eat noodles for lunch? You do? What about for dinner? There's all sorts of different kinds of noodles. There are lots and lots of noodles. But today, I have these kind of noodles. Who knows what these are? Spaghetti noodles, you're right. So I'm gonna play a little game. I'm gonna stack all of my noodles. Can you guys see me stacking my noodles? This could be a fun game that you could play later today if you have any noodles. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to take out a noodle without moving all of the other noodles. So you have to be really careful. It's kind of like pickup sticks. Have any of you guys played pickup sticks before? So then you'll try to move another. You'll try to get it out and pull it out without moving the other noodles. And then you have to see what's on top. Let's see, where should I grab? Do you think I can pull this one out? Ooh, nope, I moved all those bottom noodles. So I need to find a different noodle. What about this top noodle right here? <gasps> Did you see I slid that noodle out? I got it. Okay, and then if you grab one out and it moves all of them, then you gotta put them all back and start over again. So that's our noodle game with all of our noodles. Okay, so remember that we talked about noises and nurse and they take care of people and you can listen for noises and noodles and all the other things that start with N. Maybe you guys can think of some other words that start with N. Thank you for being my fun students today. I'll see you next time. Bye.